Hey, I'm Ryan Lott. I write and produce music under my own name, but I also lead the band Sunlux. I compose music for film and for dance and for theater. <laughs> I mean, just that right there, it's so, it's so rad. <laughs> I was interested in making this course with Soundfly because more and more the key to my, to sort of unlocking creative potential in my process is designing instruments myself. I like this, okay. Ready? You could approach music making from, let's say, an instrument that you know how to play. You pull out your guitar, you strum it, you sit at the piano, you play it. There's nothing wrong with making music that way, but it's super exciting when you can step back even further and say, what if the instrument itself is something of my own design, something that I can create? You hear it, it's like searching and wavering. There's so much information just in that single sound. When you can design your own sounds from the ground up, it's like you're unlocking this entirely new potential for a way forward. Beginning with sound, rather than instrument, is one way to think about it. As a listener, I, I bring an association to every instrument. But if the sound is unknown, you're not bringing any expectation, it's all surprise. If you're starting with the piano, you're, a listener comes, that's a piano, and then all the associations, good and bad, you have, all of a lifetime's worth of listening to a piano, you bring to that moment. When you have the opportunity to design your own sounds, your own instruments. You have the ch a chance to imbue everything you do with mystery. You're liberated from the palettes that you're familiar with. You're liberated from how good you are at whatever instrument you have it at the ready. Making your own instruments can be empowering <laughs> in all the places that working with existing instruments can feel very limiting. It's definitely a rainy sound. The element of surprise, or the, the feeling of surprise, is, is one of the most rewarding aspects of music, both as a listener and as a composer. The idea of creating your own instruments can sound intimidating, but it's actually incredibly simple. The way in which I make instruments really hasn't evolved, and it hasn't become more complex. And yet I've continually found ways to create brand new sounds and. What I'm excited about with this is, is basically being able to un unveil what that process is, unravel it a little bit, and reveal actually how simple it is and how empowering it can be. I am going to be using contact, but this isn't really a contact tutorial so much as it is a tutorial about the idea of designing sounds and instruments from scratch. I know that one of the things that can be kind of overwhelming is the sheer number of plugins and tools and software available. While it's amazing that there are so, so many tools at your fingertips, it can also be kind of intimidating because if you don't have the cash to pay for something that pops up in your inbox, you feel like you can't make music. That's completely false. <laughs> One of the things that's great about what I want to share in this course is that you don't need much to make something really fantastic and something that feels really unique and that is totally custom to you. What I hope folks can take away from this course is a new set of techniques that can continually unlock new ideas. No matter your experience or skill level, I really think that what I have to share will be applicable to you. Yeah, so super awesome. Okay, so basically just made a synth out of a snare drum roll. I feel like we got a track already. <laughs> Definitely got an intro great way to start out, but it's also an amazing way to infuse an existing piece of music with like, some brand new life. Whenever I'm in like a little bit of a rut or I'm not sure where to go forward, one of the most common things I do is I just make a little instrument. I find a beautiful piece of sound or I record an interesting sound and then I just start designing an instrument from that sound and super squeaky. Usually, if an idea doesn't emerge that unlocks something for me, oh, it's so nice. It unlocks something for me somewhere else. So it's always, always, always a fruitful exercise and yields something. There's so many tools available to do it. It just feels like something that, that anyone could uh, benefit from. It's like you're having a party, 
party's good, it's not great. Who can we invite into the room to make this a great party? And that's, that's kind of what it feels like to inflect your process with a new instrument that you've, you've never heard before because it's never been made. Subscribe to Soundfly to get started.